Rodrigo de Lira, que la tenga todo para recibir a las de este caso en el Gregorio Martínez, el 9 de diciembre, de 7 a las 7 de la noche, y el 9 de las 3 de la tarde, un ascenso en el proyecto. Va a durar el histórico, señores, que se lo propone. El 9 quiere viajar. El 9 quiere viajar. Este. Mauricio Rivas. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hi, Arnold. Good evening. Hello, Carlos. Hi. Wendy, welcome. Hello, Anna. Good evening. Hi, Zaira. And Jonathan, okay, you are driving. That's fine. How was your day at work, Anna? Good. Good. It was Excellent. good. Okay. Yes. What did you do? What did you have to do at work? Um, eh, ¿A qué hora termina? Me hizo. ¿Qué es lo que hizo? Uh, Sorry. ¿Qué hizo? What did you do? Ah, uh, is um re report. The PR uh, close the other and meeting oh, okay. is in eight hours. You had a meeting? Yes. Ah, okay, and a meeting. Ah, okay, different activities. Okay, yes. Anna, sounds cool. And Carlos, are you going to have vacations at the end of December? Do you have vacations? Maybe, maybe, teacher. Maybe. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know. You don't the know day, right the, now. The day, the day, days. Ah, uh, okay. But the 25th and the 1st, I imagine that you have the days off, right? The holidays. Yes. I, I, I have. You have the holidays, but you don't know if you are going to have more days. Ah, okay. All right. Let's see, Arnoldo, what about you? Are you going to have vacations in December, at the end of December? No. No vacations? No. Normal I am a, routine. I have a new employee. <laughs> ah, and okay. My vacation is on, oh, are on November. In one year. Uh -huh. In one year. Next okay. year. Next year in November. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. But I don't have my day off in uh, December uh, 31 and huh? January 1. Ah, okay. And what about December 25th? I work in you will work. Uh, 20, 24. In 26, 25 ah. is day off for, for all people. Ah, okay. Okay, cool. Welcome, everyone. I will take the attendance in this moment. And we start with Ana Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Ana Lilian. Brian Javier. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio. Present. Elizabeth Martinez, José Arnoldo, José Galileo. Present here, Miss. Thank you. Then Jonathan Vigil. Present, Miss. Thank you. José Rodrigo, Juan Carlos, Laura Carolina, María Concepción. Present. Thank you. María Elena. Mayra Moreno, Nelson Gabarrete, Omar Francisco, Oscar Arnulfo, Zaira Marleni, Zaira, Wendy Maribel, present teacher, thank you, and Jenny Suleima. Okay, she's not there right now. Okay, so let's begin. Galileo. Which is your favorite restaurant? Papa John's. <laughs> Besides My Papa favorite. John's. Okay, your second, your second favorite. Okay. Your second favorite. I I love 
I love the Pollo Campero. There, there are a lot of favorite restaurants. A lot. I love but, Pollo Campero. I but love... your number one is Papa John's. Yeah. But that's why? Right. Why Papa John's for you? I know you uh, work there, but why do you love it? Yeah, I love the pizza. <clears throat> and we have different kind of pizza. For example, chicken barbecue is my favorite pizza. I chicken love barbecue. Chicken barbecue, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love uh, I think ah right now we have uh pet queso petacones pizza. Okay, yeah. sounds sounds delicious. Yeah, yes. Uh, we have the traditional dough and the traditional sauce, the traditional mozzarella, but uh, we add uh, petacones cheese, like mm -hmm. a topping. Mm -hmm. so yes, it is. I I love that pizza, but I love. Or my favorite pizza is chicken barbecue. Chicken barbecue. Okay, Galileo. Thank you. It sounds yummy. It sounds delicious. Thank yeah. you for telling us a little bit. Then, Wendy, do you ever eat spicy food? Spicy. Do you know that word? Spicy. Spicy With food. Spices. Algo así. Spicy, picante. Spicy. Oh, spicy food? Do you like I it? I don't like spicy. Why? Why not? Yeah. So I prefer uh, a little spice. A no little. <laughs> oh, okay. What about Mexican food? No. Oh. <laughs> so, do you um, like sweet food? Sweet food? No. Tacos, tacos, because I I don't like food in space. Ah, pepper or chili? Pepper, uh -huh. pepper. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> okay, Wendy. Thank you. Let's see. Saira, are you there, Saira? Are you there, Saira? No. Okay, Brian, do you prefer to eat in your house or do you prefer to eat out? What do you prefer? I prefer um, go. To, to eat out? Yes, yes. Why? Uh, Why do you prefer that? I think it is is better because but, uh -huh. I I decide uh, lo que no sé lo que yo quiero o sea más como para ver más opciones y todo está más. You can say I have more options. Uh -huh. I have more options or it's more comfortable, it's más cómodo, right? It's more comfortable. Mm -hmm. When you eat in the house, you need to get everything. And it's cold sometimes. So yes, I think it's better to eat in the restaurant because it's still hot and yeah, more delicious. Okay, thank you, Brian. Yes. Hello, Laura. We're talking about restaurants. Do you like to try new places? Do you like to go to new restaurants? Or do you prefer to go to the same ones? Uh, prefer go, go to the restaurant. But new restaurants or regular restaurants? Mm. ¿Le gusta regular. ir a, a, a nuevos o al mismo? The mm. same all the time. Uh, different restaurants. The you meal, too. the meal, uh -huh. hamburger or tacos. I love tacos. Yeah, tacos yes. are so delicious. One time I went to Mexico 
and I try like original Mexican Mexican tacos and they are totally different, totally different to the ones we have here. Una vez fui a México y probé los, los ah. originales, por decirlo así, los tacos eh. originales. Yes. Eh, eh. Totalmente so, distinto. so different. And many options, a lot of options. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. Mexican food. They have a lot yeah. of delicious dishes. Okay, es, so it's es dif different. La it's like pupusas. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, it's like pupusas. Como de Salvador. Uh -huh. Salvadorian pupusas are the best. El but if Salvador. you go to the US <laughs> or other places, it's not the same taste. Mm -hmm. En otros países no es el mismo sabor uh -huh. que acá. Uh -huh. Here, 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 delicious. Uh -huh. in Salvador. They are original, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. And tacos here delicious in, in Mexico. <laughs> Better yeah. in Mexico. Uh -huh. Here uh -huh. they yeah. are delicious, uh, but in Mexico? Uh, sí. in Mexico, uh, more uh, delicious. Place, oh, more delicious. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. All right. Okay. 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 Thank you. And now, Arnoldo. Um, one moment. What do you think? about children crying in a restaurant. What do you think about kids crying in restaurants when you are eating babies crying? Arnoldo, what is your opinion about that? I think that the, the parents of the children uh, are being in charge of the, of the child. In, in my personal case, mm -hmm. I don't like that the children cry. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm, I'm very angry when I hear cry the children. It makes you to, irritated. Yes, I try to to, to separate. Uh, to go to a different uh -huh. place or to go away. Besides, with, 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 with cry children. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Always, always, maybe my my daughters are very, very quiet. I, uh -huh. I, no me acostumbré. I, don't. I didn't get used to. I didn't get you. Um, to the to the cry baby to crying uh -huh. don't, like me. don't like yes me. it is annoying it's molesto right annoying but it's normal right it's it's normal at the same time annoying it's like molesto but for people si hablan de personas ahí utilizamos annoyed id para people y para cosas annoying but yes Arnoldo, it's a difficult situation now, Saira, are you there, Saira? Do you hear me? Saira? No. Maria Concepcion, can you participate? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Maria Concepcion, what is your daily schedule like at work? Can you tell us or describe the schedule? If you work from Monday to Saturday, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. What is your schedule at work, Maria Concepcion? No le entiendo, teacher. El schedule es el horario, Maria Concepcion. ¿Cómo es su, su horario at work? Puede utilizar las prepositions. No sé, si, no sé si se recuerda de from to. From to, from es para abrir la, el tiempo. Y tú para cerrarlo. For example, from 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. Con esas preposiciones abre y cierra el tiempo, eh, María Concepción. Um, ok. Voy a intentar, de hecho. ¿Cómo lo diría? Uh, I am from 7 eh, 30 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, my lunch is, uh, I have a 
1 p.m. Ah, okay. And, uh -huh. um, y salgo, no sé cómo se dice. Uh, I go uh, out or I finish. I finish at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. And the days that you work? ¿Cómo te llamas? The days, los días, the days um, you work. The Monday, uh, Friday. From Friday, Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, Weekends off. Salgo a esa hora y los sábados de siete y media a doce. Ah, ok. Ahí puede abrir y cerrar todo el tiempo porque hay que abrir y cerrar temporadas. Puede decir from Monday to Friday y aquí abrimos y cerramos los días. Y luego de nuevo from 7.30 to 12. Y si tiene que abrir otra vez, lo volvemos a abrir. From. Y puede decir, in the afternoon. From. Y abre otra vez el tiempo en la tarde. From 1 p.m. To. Y ahí lo cierro. To 5 p.m., por ejemplo. Okay. Y luego puedo decir, en Saturdays. From 8 a.m. To. 12, or noon, que es mediodía, puede utilizar noon, too. Can you try again? ¿Puede tratar otra vez, María Concepción? A ver si, si todavía se recuerda. What is your daily schedule? Okay, teacher. From uh, Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, from from mm -hmm. 7.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. to... To 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And Saturday is from 7.30 to 12 p.m. Excellent. Oh. Uh -huh. okay. Excellent. Or Thanks. noon. Noon, que es también mediodía. Pero sin decir 12, ¿verdad? Solo decir noon. Okay, María Concepción. Thank you. Brian, what is your schedule? What is your schedule at work, Brian? My schedule, my schedule. Mm -hmm. in beginning in 6.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, my break, my break, my break fast. Mm -hmm. Is a eleven thirty. Eleven Your break at eleven thirty. Uh huh. Uh huh. Em. At um twelve thirty. Thank. Brian, yeah. ahí tiene que abrir y cerrar. Si es el break de la misma manera, from eleven thirty to 12. Can you try again? Uh -huh. To 12 30 p.m. Mm -hmm. And I finish, I finish at uh, um, 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. And you start at 8, you said, right? 6. 6. 6 in the morning, Brian. Very early. 6.30. Okay. What time do you go to bed? What time do you fall asleep? ¿A qué hora se duerme? What time do you go to bed? Um, before the class. <laughs> before the class or after the class? After, after. After the yes. class. Ah, okay, the Brian. Okay, yeah. thank you, Brian. Okay, question okay. number two. Hello, Juan Carlos. Oh, are you? Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello. Can you help us with question two? Who is in charge of or organizing staff schedules in your company? In my company, I am in charge. You are in charge. Ah, okay, so you have the best schedule for you. Usted se pone el mejor yes. horario para usted. 
Ah, okay, <laughs> excellent. Okay, how many schedules do you organize? Uh, three schedules from technician, uh, myself, and my administration. From uh, ¿Qué sería? Departamento de Administración. And the administ administrative department. Administrative. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Jenny, what about you? In your company, who is in charge of this activity? Um, se dice? Es fijo el horario. It's fixed. We have, I will send it in the chat. We have yes. uh -huh. fixed. And the, the schedule is fixed. Ah, okay, it's so fixed. no one. No. Okay, when you, um, ah, sorry, continue. <laughs> uh, from Monday to Friday is, is uh, 8 a.m. From 8 a.m. To, to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. From Monday yes. to Friday. Yes, and Saturday uh -huh. is uh, 8 p.m. to 11 3 p.m. p.m. or a.m. or a.m. a.m. Oh, ah, okay. Yes. I was surprised <laughs> when you said p.m. No. Okay, a.m. Yeah. Only four hours, four or three hours. Yes. Right? Ah, yes. Okay. okay, thank you, Jenny. When the opposite of fix is flexible, y lo opuesto, de algo fijo sería flexible, flexible schedules. Esos son los, los que cambian, ¿verdad? Flexible. Y fixed, que ya sería el que no. Mayra, are you there, Mayra? Can you comment on that one? Hello, Mayra. Hello, teacher. Who is, who is in charge in your company of this? In my in my work, the general manager. Ah, okay. Organized. But in my case, mm -hmm. I can, um, no sé, yo puedo variar, no sé. I can, Como... my schedule changes. My schedule change. changes. Yes. O podría decir, I can change. I can change my schedule. Porque lo puede cambiar, dice, ¿verdad? I can change. Uh -huh. Y la otra opción podría ser I have a flexible schedule, que es flexible. So it depends. There are many options. So you can change it. That is nice. But you can change or modify the time. Do you like uh -huh. it? Si le gusta cambiarlo, do you like it? Mm, a veces, so, so, sometimes. Why? Porque tiene uno cosas que hacer, las logra cambiar. O sea, logra cambiar el horario porque tal vez mueve dos horas de almuerzo y se quedan más tarde, así. Ah, ok. Yes, it has benefits. It has advantages and disadvantages. Ok, thank you. Ok, everyone, thank you. We will continue with the conversation. I'm going to start and then it will be your turn. We will start with Elena. Elena and Oscar, you'll be the first ones. Okay, Ruben and Jenny. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right, you have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then, you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Reminder. Okay, so let's begin with Elena. Hello, Elena. Hi, Oscar. Are you there? Hi, good evening. Hello. Okay, Elena, you are Ruben and you are Jenny. Oscar, 
Okay, go ahead, Elena. Okay, I am a star. Okay, mm -hmm. let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. Hi. Hello. Are you there, Oscar? Yes, 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 I am here. Uh, you are Jenny. I am, uh -huh. I am Jenny. Uh -huh. All right. You have to have for ladies. Glass to half today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at yeah, 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest afternoon until 6 p.m. With your Robin, thanks for the reminder. Let's continue. Saira, are you there? Do you hear me, Saira? No. Okay, let's continue with Ana. Ana and Carlos. Okay, so Carlos, you are Ruben, and Ana, you are Jenny. Ready? Okay. Okay, okay. let's check your, your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start com conver converting to Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can, you can go to lunch, you have to be back at 1 p.m. So then you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thank you for reminding. Okay, thank you, Carlos. And thank you, Ana. I'm going to help you with three words. Number one, schedule. Can you repeat? Schedule. 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 One more time, Carlos. Schedule. It's going to get better. I will help you later. Okay. Number two, covering. 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 Mm -hmm. covering. Thank you. Hostess. 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 There you go. Thank you, Carlos and Ana. Let's go on, Arnoldo and Galileo. Arnoldo, you are Ruben and Galileo, you are Jenny. Okay. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys and the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Very well. Good fluency, good pronunciation. Okay, let's continue. Laura and Wendy. Laura, you are Ruben, and Wendy, you are Jenny. Okay. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We do, Ruben. Thank for the remainder. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Laura. Good yeah. job. Okay, very good fluency. Just two words that we will review. Number one, until. On, until. Until. On, yes. Until. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wendy, can you repeat, please? The same. Until. Mm -hmm. Reminder. Reminder. Yes. Reminder. Yes. Remind it. Thank okay. you. Correct. That's the way it sounds. Okay, let's continue. Juan Carlos and Mayra. 
Juan Carlos, you are Ruben, and Mayra, you are Jenny. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start calling for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to the lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can search for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Well, the Ruben, thanks for reminder. Okay, sounds cool. Thank you, Juan Carlos and Mayra. Let's continue, Jenny and Rodrigo. Jenny, you are Ruben, and Rodrigo, you are Jenny. <laughs> okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Thank you, Jenny, and thank you, Rodrigo. However, Rodrigo, I couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear you well, Rodrigo. There is like a problem with the microphone, Rodrigo, and, and it doesn't sound good. Casi no le escuchamos. Okay, now it's better. Yes, se oye como cortado. Can you repeat, please? Okay, we do, Ruben, same for the remainder. Reminder. 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 Yes. Okay. Reminder. Thank you, Jenny and Rodrigo. Yes, that's the way it sounds. Reminder. Okay. And then Brian, is there somebody else who hasn't who haven't read besides Brian? Hay alguien que no haya leído aparte de Brian. No, just Brian. Solo Brian. Okay, Brian and Laura, can you help us, please? Brian, you are Ruben. And Laura, you are Jenny. Okay. Please. Okay. Okay, let's check your schedule. your teacher. All right. You have to start covering for ladies as the host is today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thank you for the remember, remainder, reminder. <laughs> reminder. There you go, Laura. Thank you. And thank you, Brian. Hi, Zaira. Ya arregló el, el problema con su computer. De momento puede, creo que puedo por lo menos leer ahí, teacher. You can. Okay. Can you help us, Galileo, please? Okay. Zaira, you are Ruben. And, and Galileo, you are Jenny. If you could help us, please. Okay. Okay, Zaira, let's go. Okay, okay, let's check your schedule for today. Jenny. All right, all right. You have to start calling for Gladys as to host it today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. <clears throat> So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We'll do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. There you go. Thank you, Galileo and Zaira. I okay. appreciate it. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? Is there something I could help you with, everyone? Any comments, doubts, dudas about the vocabulary?
Covering teacher. Covering. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to give you the the English version first to cover or to substitute. When I cannot go to work and you cover for me, you're going to do my job. A substitution. Yes, Rodrigo? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Cider? Reminder. Reminder. Ah, okay. To remember, to remember someone to do something. In my case, I remind you to take the, the homework assignment. I tell you guys, remember to take the test. That is a reminder. You remember someone about something. I give you reminders. Reminders about your daily homework. ¿Qué entendió, Mayra? Que sería reminder. Como recordar este, algo Ajá. que en el trabajo, yo no sé. Como Pero recordatorios. Ahora, Ajá. Ajá. Correct, recordatorios. Ese es reminder. Por eso dice, thanks for the reminder. Yo les doy reminders sometimes about, about the, the okay. midterm or about the, the homework, right? By the way, uh, también me, me mencionaron que les recordara, hablando de reminders, de la información que tienen que actualizar, la información que actualizan para para avanzar al siguiente curso, lo que envían de recursos, de HR, que recuerden de chequearlo con ellos para, para que las clases comiencen en cierta fecha de enero. Así que me mencionaron que les recordara que vieran eso con su, con su company. Así que hice el reminder about it. Okay, you. okay. Thank you. you're welcome. Now let's continue here. This is about vocabulary, more vocabulary about restaurants. Aquí hay un poquito más de vocabulary para restaurantes. Hay algunas positions, quizás, bueno, ya las conocen todas. We will check, you have to find the definition for each position. Tienen que encontrar cuál sería el significado o, o el, ajá, el significado para cada posición. ¿Dónde está executive chef, server? ¿Cuál sería la definición de server? The host or hostess. No sé si se recuerdan que se las di. Esta de host or hostess. Ahí está. Kitchen manager and cashier. I'm going to give you like three minutes. You can send me a private message if you wish. Les voy a dar un tiempo, ¿verdad? Para que analicen, observen, lean. Y en un momento, pues, revisamos todos. A ver si tenemos lo mismo. If you have questions, let me know, and I will help you.
Hello, are you ready to check? No, not yet. Yes. You're ready. Okay, we are going to double check. Vamos a revisar a ver si tenemos todos lo mismo. Al final deberíamos tener todos lo mismo. Okay, definition number one. Anna, can you help us with this? The person handling payments in a restaurant. Mm, cashier, teacher. Cashier. Okay, thank you, Anna. And now let's see, Rodrigo, do you have the same opinion? The person handling payments in a restaurant. The cashier. 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 Yes. yes. Thank you. That is correct. That is number five. Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's continue. Wendy, a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff, and food standards. Kitchen manager. Kitchen manager. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Carlos, what do you think? Number My two. Executive chef. One of those two, una de esas dos, Wendy. Um, No sé. Okay, don't worry. Está entre esas dos. Yes. Okay. Uh, Carlos, what do you think? Kitchen manager or executive chef? Uh, I think executive chef. Executive chef. Okay, thank you. One, yes. one yes. more opinion. Oscar, number two. Kitchen manager or executive chef, number two. Uh, executive Oscar. chef. Executive chef. Yes, that's the one, guys. This is an executive chef. Okay, is the person creating menus, managing kitchen staff, and the food standards the chef, executive chef. Okay, then number three, Galileo, a person who hires staff, purchases food and makes sure everyone is trained. Um, the uh -huh. I was me. <laughs> okay, uh, which one did you say? Kitchen manager. Kitchen manager. Ah, okay. Thank you, Galileo. And you, Laura, do you have the same opinion, Elena? Number three. The same opinion uh, to Galileo. Ask Kitchen Galileo. manager. Ah, Kitchen Ask manager. Galileo. Okay. Thank you, Laura. And you, Elena? Do you agree? Está de acuerdo? Do you agree? I think executive chief. Executive chef, pero esa ya la tenemos, Elena. Es la number two, la que está acá. Cuatro. <laughs> yes, that's kitchen manager. Vamos a poner number four. Thank you. Ah, entonces el kitchen manager sería the person who hires staff, buys food, and check everyone is trained. Thank you. Juan Carlos, a waiter or waitress who attends customers with food and drinks. Server, number two. For you, server, thank you. And for you, Jenny, do you have the same opinion, Mayra? It's the same, teacher. Same, okay. And Mayra? Server. The same, teacher. The same, okay, that's the one. This is the server. Who attends customers? and gives food, food and drinks. Thank you. Arnoldo, can you read the last definition, please? And tell us the position. Hostess, a person mm -hmm. who greets a arriving guest, welcomes them into the restaurant and seats them. Correct, thank you. So just one reminder, remember, host, Men, boys, 
hostess, the term for women, right? Just remember, host is for men, hostess is the same, but for women. Solo recuerden que el término, dependiendo si es hombre o mujer, lleva, ¿verdad? Hostess es para mujer y host es para hombres. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? Questions or comments? No. Okay. In this moment, we are going to expand the vocabulary a little bit more. Vamos a ampliar un poquito más el vocabulary. We are going to use the document that I sent by chat. Ahí les envié en el chat este document. Se llama WKD16. But it's the last one. Es el que les envié ahorita hace poco. This is what you have to do. Number one, write the correct word from the list below to describe each picture. You have different pictures, okay? Different things, and you have to give a name. Tienen que darle el nombre a cada, a cada dibujo. And number two, part number two, make a sentence in past tense with each one. Y de cada palabra van a hacer una oración, pero en past tense. For example, okay, number one. In your case, Brian, ¿cómo cree que se llama este objeto in English? Do you have an idea? Aquí está, es uno de esos. Veamos. Cutlery. Cutlery, no. no. No, but thank you. Thank mm. you for trying. Who knows the name of that one? ¿Hay alguien que lo conozca? Solo les voy a... No sé cómo se Ajá. Fork. Yes, fork. that one. Fork. Es como... I'm sorry. It's like Forky, right? From Toy Story. I don't know if you watch the movie. Oh. El tenedor que era basura. Fork. Forky. Ajá, viene de ahí. The Fork. Forky, pero con cariño. Okay, so this one is Fork. Ahora... Una sentence in past tense, una oración in past tense que lleve la palabra fork a su imaginación. Okay, whatever you want to. They, okay, for example, the customers customers didn't want to use Forks to eat the pupusas. Okay, this is my idea, right? But you can create your own. Okay, esa es una oración en past tense. Y aquí usé, utilicé la palabra fork. Forks, the plural form. Okay. Que los customers no quisieron utilizar tenedores para comer sus pupusas. Or Salvadorians. Bueno, sería en present tense, Salvadorians don't use forks to eat pupusas. O no sé si alguien de ustedes utiliza, ¿verdad? It's okay, but most Salvadorians don't eat forks. Don't use forks. Okay, but that's the point. Solo les voy a ayudar con la pronunciation. Primero para que sepan cómo se pronuncia y luego chequeamos acá. Cutlery, glass, trays, fork. Knife, knife, napkin, 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 menu, straw, tablecloth, pitcher. Okay, Wendy, can you repeat, please? The pronunciation. Okay. Color. Cutler. Cutler. Oh, I'm sorry, cutlery. Cutlery. Mm -hmm. Cutlery, gas, glass, sorry, glass, train, fork, knife, mm -hmm. napkin, mm -hmm. menu, straw, tablecloth, pitcher. Excellent. Yes. Thank you, Wendy. Maria Concepcion, could you repeat, please? Okay. 
Cut lady. Perdón, te estoy comiendo. Pero... Ah, ok, don't worry. Sigue ahí. Sorry. Ok, can you repeat, Lily? No sé si está ahí, Lily. I don't see you. Hi, Lily. How are you doing? ¿Qué tal sigue? En recuperación. Yeah. Recovering. Okay, Lily, good to see you. Can you repeat, please? Okay. Cutlery. Cutlery. Glass. Great. Work. Mm -hmm. uh, Knife. Knife. Uh -huh. mm, napkin. Napkin. Menu. Mm -hmm. Straw. 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 Mm -hmm. Type. Type. Table. 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 Picture. And picture. Thank you. Now we will listen to Mayra. Can you please repeat? Cutlery. Mm -hmm. Glass. Try. Fork. Knife, napkin, menu, straw, tablecloth, pitcher. Thank you. Correct. Just this one. This one, Mayra. Trace. Trace. Correct. Thank you. Good pronunciation. Um, just one comment. Un tip de pronunciación. Cuando vean la A y la W juntas, como acá, como en, en esta palabra o en esta, se dice como que fuera una O un poco pronunciada. Lo no suena como W justamente, sino que es como una O pronunciada. Lo, straw. No es straw como W, como lo diríamos, sino como una O larga. Straw, lo. So just, just a tip. Ok, do you have questions? We're going to work in pairs. No, I guess in groups of three, but do you have questions before I send you away? No sé si hay alguna duda de esta activity. No, no questions or comments. Okay, and Galileo in one second, se le envío acá o se le envío a, a WhatsApp, la, el document. Please, por este medio. Sí. Okay. All right. Okay, give me one moment, guys. I'm just going to send him the document. Okay. Can you see it, Galileo? Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Then. Okay. I will send you the invite in one moment. Mi por qué, mi primo. Hi guys, sorry to interrupt. Eh, Rodrigo, are you going yes, to stay tonight? Si ¿Sí estamos yes. listos para ahora. Okay. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. en el mismo lugar. Yes. Siempre. Okay. Yes. Before I go, do you have questions? No sé si tienen alguna duda antes que me marche. Yes. 
Sentences past tense. Uh -huh. In past tense y que vaya la palabra. ¿Verdad que están okay. ahí usando? Vamos a practicar un poco a, mí, past tense. a mí me está sacando bien seguido esta cosa. ¿Qué cosa? De la reunión. <risa> Me imagino que pero, es la conexión, María Concepción. Porque cuando pero fíjese es... que uh -huh. ajá, eh, me cambié de, o sea, del teléfono me estaba sacando, me pasé a la compu, después otra vez al teléfono porque no me dejan a compu también. Pero está siempre bajo la misma recepción. O sea, recepción. tengo, o, o sea, por lo... Por ejemplo, el mío es pospago, pues lo ando ilimitado. Y aquí el internet es de 20. De 20. Entonces, Ajá, como... No te vería de... Ajá. I, I don't know what it could be. No sé en qué estará. Pero no. ahorita no he visto que se salga. Ahorita ya no. Por el momento, ¿verdad? Okay. Ahí voy a Ajá. estar pendiente. Cualquier cosa le envío para acá de nuevo, para este room. Vale, está bien. Ok. Si ¿Sí terminan, let me know. Okay, let me know, send me a message. Igual en unos tres minutos vamos a volver porque tengo que tomar the attendance. Ok. See you in bye. one moment. Bye, bye. Bye. Esta es Napkin. Yeah. Napkin, ¿qué es? Es servilleta. Yeah. Napkin glass. Ok. Hoy okay. Elaborar, elaborar. Sentences. Before work, ¿qué había hecho eso? El tenedor yeah. estaba sucio. Yeah. Wow, okay. guys, you finished very fast. The first part. Yeah, Laura is so smart. She's on fire right now. Ya so se las podía la, todas. Guan, solo una teacher. Solo una nueva, descubrió. Solo una, no, no la, la pregunta, la sentence, la respuesta, ah, okay. sí, la oración. Ajá, the sentence. Sí, no, yes. acá sí ya más o menos me podía Ajá, pero es correcto. Términos, teacher. Yes, Ahorita bueno. vamos a, a, a elaborar las, las, las sentences. Ajá. Pero qué bien veo que la primera está correcta, the, the four was dirty. Ajá, okay. ahí utiliza Esta palabra la vimos, la vimos también, le iba a decir. Ajá, la vimos, yes. Uh, I'm glad okay. to still remember. Tell me. Dirt is, is sucio, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dirt, okay. okay. Pero okay. para describir, ajá, es dirty. The cutlery didn't mm -hmm. put on the table. But who? ¿Cuál sería...? Como que no fue puesto, es lo que quiere decir Galileo. Exacto. Yeah. Entonces sería passive voice, porque no está mencionando al sujeto. Y tendría que ir con el verb The cutlery was not. Ajá. Set. Ah, uh, ya. Yeah. Uh, on the uh -huh. table. On the table. Ajá, in this case. Uh, yes. Yeah. The action is didn't. Okay, uh -huh. Cuando es active voice, ahí va a tirar. Pero como okay. ese era yeah. passive voice, vamos a ir con was. Si no, no sería. Okay. Remember. Continue. Yeah. Si sí, porque podríamos decir que la de Kutrevir is, is new. Eh, son nuevos. O la cuchería uh -huh. es nueva. Uh -huh. Algo uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, uh -huh. right now, okay. I will take you back because I have to take the attendance. But after I take the attendance, uh -huh. I'm going to send you back here. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. But you still have no like. Uh -huh. Well, let's see you there. <laughs> Hello. I Very brought fun. you back. No, it's because of the attendance. When I when I do this, it's because I have to do it. Okay, sorry, but then I will send you back. Let's begin. Ana, Ana Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Ana Lilian. Present. Brian Javier. Present, teacher. Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay. Elizabeth Martinez. Jose Arnoldo. Um, Galileo, but I see you here, Arnoldo. Present, ma. 
Jose Jonathan. Present, Miss. Thank you, Jose I'm here, Rodrigo. Teacher. I'm here, okay, present, yes, teacher. Ronaldo. Yes. Ben, present, Juan teacher, Carlos. present. Yes, Rodrigo, I got present. you here. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Maria Concepcion. Present. Maria Elena. Present. Ah, okay. Ben, Mayra Moreno. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nelson Gavarrete. Omar Francisco. Oscar Arnulfo. I'm here. Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Wendy Maribel. And Present, Jenny. teacher. Jenny Suley. Present. Thank you. Okay, Present. just one favor. One favor. Maybe one of you, one participant of the group, can have all the answers in, in a document. Tal vez hay algún representante del grupo que tenga ya todas las oraciones como digital, porque las vamos a ir copiando una por una en el chat para revisarlas todas de una vez. Así que tal vez alguien ya las tiene ahí en un document para que vayamos todos ahí, at the same pace, a la misma velocidad. Ok, you can return to the group. The table club single it go dirty for the session. Dirty. Oh, no, sé si le cambiamos algo. Hello, sorry to interrupt. How are you doing? Everything going well? Yes, todo va bien por acá. Yes. Okay, okay, I, I'm glad to hear that. I have one comment. Ahorita que estaba revisando, I want to give you one comment. Recuerden que vamos a, a trabajar past tense. Y veo que las oraciones están en present tense. So just change, change them to past tense. Así como ahí, I have to buy. Entonces en past tense sería. I have. I had. Ajá, I movemos had. el verb a past tense. Ahí, so yeah, ahí yeah, está cambiada. It has been changed. The same with the second one. I have. I have. Yes. So just make sure that it's in past tense. Vamos a tratar de, de trabajar past tense ahorita. Así que solo revisen eso. In edit, edit, etiquette and protocol class, I learned uh -huh, past tense. How to use cutlery. Yes. Uh -huh, eso está en past tense. Ahí está el ID. Okay. Do you have other ones? No, dice no. solo, solo esta. Can you show eh, me eh, the, the objects? Ya le nombraron todos los. Ajá, no. napkin. Yes. Napkin, glass. Ajá, picture, yes, menu. Menu. Ajá, trace. Like ajá. Trout. Solo trout. con trace sí estamos que son bandejas, ¿verdad? Porque parecen platos, pero es, es de bandejas. Ok, I just wanted to confirm. Do you have questions before I let you continue? No, no, no. Bueno, ya que lo tienen en document, creo que solo copy and paste, ¿verdad? Para, para pasarlo. Ok, well, I'm going to let you continue. If you need me, let me know. See you. Thank you. Hello, Elena, Ana, and Lily. How are you doing? Hello, no, teacher. Hi. Ah, estamos. ah, ok. Just remember past tense. Se aseguran de que los verbos ahí vayan en past tense. O si es negativa, que usen el was o el were. O did, didn't, ¿verdad? En past tense. 
I don't know if you have any questions for me. No sé si quisieran preguntar algo. No sé si hay alguna duda. Uh -huh. Lili. Para, por ejemplo, yo agarré el, el para armar la oración de, de, de table, la mesa. Uh -huh. La de mantel. Estoy en table duda porque, ajá, ajá, yo, yo pues pienso escribirlo. Ayer le pusimos el mantel navideño a la mesa de la casa o de uh -huh. mi casa, pero uh -huh. no sé cómo, cómo iría. O sea, lo tengo yes, yes, third day we, we... Uh -huh. Vamos a seguir esta, esta, este patrón para que se le haga más fácil. Okay. La oración lleva ese patrón, subject, verb, and complement. El okay. verbo en este caso va a ser en past tense, ¿verdad? Primero... ¿Cuál sería su sujeto acá? Nosotros, ¿verdad? Creo que lo mencionó ahí correctamente. Ajá. Uh -huh. well, we. Vaya, vamos a empezar con we. eso. We. Uh -huh. Ahora, ¿cuál sería el verbo? Poner, ¿verdad? Porque dijo pusimos. El verbo es poner. En past tense es put. Put. Aunque okay, para... Ajá, y ahí table, pone the Christmas, the Christmas table, table clock. In my house, for example, yesterday. Y de último en el complement, ahí le pone yesterday. O mm -hmm. si quiere, pues lo pone al principio. Esa time word podría ir al principio. Le pone una coma. Yesterday, we put the table cloth. The Christmas, the Christmas the table Christmas. cloth. In the kitchen, en la cocina o en, o en la mesa. Okay? Pero va a llevar ese patrón. Subject, verb, complement. Trate de buscar esas, esas partes, esos elementos y ahí va a ir. Bueno, ahí va Pero a ir. ahí lo pongo en la mesa de mi casa o en la mesa de mi cocina o solamente lo puedo ¿En usar. En la mesa. Bueno, depende porque si es solo en la mesa, on the table. Pero si es en la en la mesa de mi casa, entonces sería on the table of my house. My, my house. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Eh, uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. And you, Ana or Elena? Yes, teacher. Ajá. Este, uh -huh. Voy a compartir para que vea lo que he hecho. No sé si estará muy bien. Uh -huh. Se observa. Uh, yes, yes. Just one. Uh, no. for, sorry to interrupt you. Ahí le mando Lili para, para poner, pero de, de comedor, como poner cosas. Ahí vamos a utilizar set en vez de put. Porque put es de poner, pero de otras cosas. Set. Ahí le pone como ver. Y ese es el past tense. Ok, Ana, sorry. Tell me. Ok. Thank you. We went to Wendy's and the waiter gave me the menu. In the restaurant, the waiter dropped the trays. The boy didn't want to drink his drink without a straw. My classmates drank many jokes of es beer. Se dice, muchas cervezas. Muchas mm. jarras de cerveza. Sí. Ah, no. jarras. Jarras. Yes, ah. jokes. Jokes could be one. O solo podría poner mucha cerveza. A lot of, a lot of beer. Sin el many. Pero si no, si lo puede dejar así como un contenedor, ¿verdad? Así. También el teacher. El teacher, no sé si lo veía ahí, que este, de hecho estaba lleno de cerveza. Ah, pero no, no me cuadraba que fuera eso, teacher, pero no lo, no lo puse. Ajá, ah, o sea, podría usar jokes, pero también teacher sería válido. Uh -huh. O sea, Porque que es ser. como un pichel. Ajá. Teacher, teacher of beer. Of beer. Uh -huh. Aquí sería yes. o at. Ah. Ah, yes, that's correct. También entonces. Yes, Vamos. congratulations, Ana. Muy bien. Gracias, gracias. Ok, more questions before I leave. No sé si hay algo más o las dejo solitas de nuevo. Working on it. No sé, María Elena tiene preguntas. Pero no puedo. 
no puede compartir. Estoy compartiendo yo todavía. Ya, ya pude, creo. Ah, ok. Solo he hecho dos. Ah, ok, pero recuerda, Elena, que son en grupo. O sea, es una por grupo. Así que si, si terminan antes, ajá, todas, ¿está bien? My aunt inherited my grandmother's silverware. Ok. That one is correct, solo que tiene que utilizar en la number two cutlery. Cutlery. Y no la ha utilizado en esa, Elena. Está bien la oración, solo que faltó la palabra. Cutlery. The Japanese didn't like juice to use for to eat rice. They use chopsticks. Esa también está bien, solo que hay que poner didn't like to use. To use. Mm -hmm. But yes, then it will be fine. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to leave. I'm going to visit other rooms and in one moment we will return. Okay, okay. see you. Uh, I'm staying out, Grace. I am, I am already asking for the menu. Uh, the waiter bought me two pictures of beer. He we brought the glasses with costume. I miss you, the napkin. He cheated to the table, tablecloth with wine. He used a knife to put to the cake. You put you put the curly on the table. I didn't know, I didn't I did not find a for for dining. Welcome, teacher. Hello. I was reading the sentences. They are going very well. I have some comments. I'm going to give you some feedback now that I'm here. I did not find a fork to dinner. Oh, for dinner. No, 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 it's okay. You can leave it like that, Oscar. La podemos dejar así. You put, me imagino que es para como ponerlo en la mesa, ¿verdad? Number two. Yes. Tú pusiste, tú pusiste los cubiertos en la, en la mesa. Ok, Ay, para poner cosas en la mesa utilizamos usualmente el verbo set. Set, eh, para cualquier cosa que ponemos, set the tablecloth, set the cutlery, en vez de put, vamos a poner set. Y ese es, you set the cutlery? Ajá, you set the cutlery on the table. Y you, ah, pero eso es solo para, es solo para utensilios de mesa. En ese sentido, sí, porque set puede tener muchos significados, depende del contexto. Entonces, en este contexto vamos a utilizar set para eso. Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo utilizamos put? Put para lo demás. He put como poner algo en la cama. He put the, the laptop on the bed. Pero para, para comedor, sí, ahí es set. Pero okay. para lo demás puede utilizar put, Oscar. Okay. Uh -huh. He used, in past tense, a di, he used. We a have knife. A, a dove for this. Uh, Why? He uh -huh. used. Wendy says that he needs di. Ajá, uh -huh. it needs di. Sí, necesita la de para ya ir en past tense. Use. And this. This one, she table did cloth, la de tablecloth, ahí es dirt. She dirt. The tablecloth. With dirt. wine. Solo que aquí creo que es como manchar, ¿verdad? Lo que ustedes quieren decir, que se manchó. Ensució. Ensució. Ajá, entonces ahí sería stain. Stain. Dirt es como de empolvar, pero ahí dice que es con vino. Stain. Uh -huh. And they miss you said? They miss you the napkins, yes. Las demás que leí sí estaban bien, solo en esas que, que les estaba the dando last, feedback. The last one? Uh -huh. Yeah, todas las demás están bien. Just the, okay. the ones I told you. In this moment, we will return. 
we will return to, to the other group. Ahora, no hay necesidad si ustedes quieren de ponerlas en el chat porque ya las revisé yo todas. But if you want to, you can put them. Pero sí veo que todo está ahorita ya en orden. By the way, Wendy, Wendy, vamos a hacer el role play al final. El role play de, de last Friday. But yes, good job, everyone. Well, well done. Do you have any other questions before we return? Thank you for your support. You're welcome. See you there. Okay, welcome back. We are going to check the sentences and the, the terms. We will use the chat, okay, so I can see all of your all of your sentences. Give me one moment. I'm going to share the screen. Okay, so number one, pork. The representative of the team, can you please send the sentence with pork? El representante del grupo que tiene la number one de cada grupo, can you send it in the chat, please? La que va con pork. <laughs> Okay. Please send them by chat y ahorita yo les doy un vistazo. Algunas ya las vi, but I want to check the ones I haven't checked. Okay. Thank you, correct, Carlos. Si ya las tienen en un document, just copy the text and paste it. Si ya la tienen en un documento, solo copienla y, y le dan ahí pegar. Okay. Uh -huh. At Carlos, that one is correct. Uh, the four was dirty, teacher. Aha, uh -huh, I remember you had that one. The four was dirty. Yes, that's another option. Thank you. And you guys, no sé si los demás teams. Los tienen ahí. Uh, sí, teacher. Good claim. Good clarity, la segunda. Pero no sé si pueden enviar la, la oración, la oración número uno, la de Fork. Ah, ok. Ajá. Please. Sería el grupo, el grupo, de, el grupo de Ana, el grupo de, de Rodrigo, de solamente. I did not find. Ah, ok. Thank you, Arnoldo. Jonathan, well, Juan Carlos, Maria Concepcion, or Rodrigo? Can you send it? Ah, okay. I ate the pizza with the fork. Yes. Okay. Number two, cutlery, right? Todos tenemos que es cutlery. Okay. And now the sentence. Please send it in the chat. Carlos, you already did. In, uh huh. Thank you, Carlos, it's correct. And then, Laura, do you have different ones? Usted tiene diferentes a las de Carlos. Y va con eh, I'm sorry, <laughs> really. Y, y Brian. <laughs> ah, estoy mezclando los grupos. Okay, let me see. Uh -huh. Carlos iba con Mayra, right? Mayra, Zaira, and, and Jenny. Ah, okay. Yes. But yes. Thank you, Laura. It's correct. And then, okay. I put, vamos a utilizar set. Juan Carlos, I said cutlery on the table. I was explaining to your classmates that when we talk about, about putting things on the table, We use set. Cuando ponemos cosas como para ordenar la mesa, ahí vamos a utilizar el verbo set instead of put. Just that change. Thank you, Ana. That's correct. Okay. Number three. Number three. The name is knife, right? By the way, the plural form is knives. Y esa es la, la plural, knives. Por si lo que no sabían, es knives. 
Okay, can you send the sentence, please? And then, Jenny, can you read the sentence of your group? No sé si puede leer la de su group. Number three, Jenny, please. I had to I have to buy a meat to cook the meat. Nice. Uh -huh. mine, mine. To cut the meat. To cook the meat. Aha, uh -huh. correct. Thank you, Jenny. Arnoldo, yes. He used a. Ah, le vamos a agregar la. A. He used a knife. Then Rodrigo. The butcher used the knife to cut the meat. Yes. And then Anna, correct. Thank you. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to scroll down. And then we continue with tablecloth. Tablecloth. Okay. Galileo, could you read the sentence of your group, please? For tablecloth. Uh, yes, Laura. Oh, uh, she has all, I, all the sentences. Uh -huh, okay. Can you read it, Laura, please? The qual teacher? <laughs> Sorry. No. Um, the table cloth was very clean. Yes, I have past tense. Anna, correct. We we set the table cloth. She's saying the table cloth. I washed the table cloth yesterday. Yes. Okay, next one. Napkin, right? That's the next one. Okay, could you help us, Wendy? Napkin, the sentence. You can say it. Read the sentence about napkin. Napkin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let me know when you have. But Arnoldo, correct. Anna, when. Anna, that one is in present tense. The one you sent in the chat. Okay. Just the, the verbs. ¿Qué querían poner ahí, Ana, en that sentence? Me parece que Lili dijo de que había puesto el mantel navideño. No, pero con la de napkin. When we feel we use the new napkin. Ah. You found it. Sí, they misuse the napkins. They misuse, ah, ok, the napkins. Ok, thank you, Wendy. And then I wipe my mouth with the napkins. Thank you, Rodrigo. Ese verbo que él puso ahí, wipe, it's when you clean your face, por si lo quieren tener, wipe, es limpiarse, wipe my mouth. Thank you, Rodrigo. Okay. Uh, just that one, Ana, esa sí la tendríamos que cambiar a past tense. Then the next okay, one we teacher. have is Glass, right? Si no me confundo, it will be glass. Glass of wine. Can you send the sentence, please? For glass. Oscar, can you read your sentence, please? The glass. The glass is broken in the diner. I don't hear you. Sorry. Can you repeat, please? The glass broken in the diner. The glass broke. The glass broke in the diner, yes. We broke. Ah, okay. It's different, Arnoldo. We broke the glass while toasting. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. Then, Anna, when we... When we eat, la... it's okay. Solo que está siempre en present tense. 
but wow. yes, <laughs> but yes, it is correct, mm -hmm. Anna. And then I drank a glass. I drank, I drank, Juan Carlos. Drunk is past participle, past tense, drank. Last month's party, we used glasses to toast. Yes, Anna, that one is correct. Okay, next one. Picture. Can you send the sentence, please, with picture? Lily, can you read the sentence? Picture, please. Do you have the sentence, Lily? Eh, no la hice, teacher, porque no. nosotros tomamos tres y tres para hacerlo. Ah, ok. Para... Who has that one in your group? Elena or you, Ana? The picture eh, sentence. Eh, in sentences, my classmate dropped a picture of beer. Ajá, uh -huh. correct. And, ok, Arnoldo, yes. Correct. Okay. Me hace falta la de Rodrigo, right? No, no, Juan Carlos ya la envió. Ok. Y quiero ver la de Galileo, José, Laura and Brian. It is the picture was cold and full. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Menu. Let's continue with menu. Can you read the sentence, Arnoldo, please? And the picture, I'm sorry, the menu was, the menu looked attractive, guys. Galileo, Brian, and Laura. The menu looked attractive without the password. Yes, Arnoldo. My yes. sentence. Mm -hmm. I already asked for the menu. Thank you. I already asked. Just the pronunciation changes. I already asked. asked. Mm -hmm. For the menu. For the yes. Okay, and then, okay, please send the sentence when you have it, when you have it there. And then we continue with the last one. The last two, can you send them in the chat, please? Las últimas dos, the tray and the straw. I'm going to check them there. Yes, Anna, that one is correct. And then the trays were not used. That one is correct, Galileo, Brian, and Laura. Straw, the straw was short, correct too. Thank you. And then Anna in the restaurant, the waiter dropped the trays, correct. Okay. We're going well. Do you have questions for me in the meantime? No sé si hay alguna duda. In the meantime, questions for me. Comments or questions? No. Juan Carlos? No, we're fine. But very good use, very good use of past tense. Okay, then Juan Carlos or, or Rodrigo, do you have the sentences? The last ones, uh -huh. thank you. Okay, I'm going to wait just a moment, solo voy a esperar un ratito más que me terminen de enviar ahí las sentences, but they, they look very well. In this moment, we are going to work in pairs, I'm going to give you five minutes, and you have to answer the questions that we have here, okay? We're going to work in pairs, and you have to answer the questions that you see here. One, two, three, five minutes. Aha. Está bien esa oración de Natin. No sé si estará bien. In the morning when we have breakfast, we use a napkin. Yes, yes, it is correct. Ok. Ok. Los voy a, a citar en parejas para que en cinco minutos encontremos la respuesta a las preguntas que están acá. 
estas preguntas están basadas en el, en el, en el role play que leímos al principio de la clase. Okay? You're going to work in pairs to answer the questions. And Arnoldo, the, the sentence is correct. The waitress served on takeout trays. Okay, do you have questions about this activity? No sé si tienen alguna duda about the activity. No? Okay, so let me create the rooms. Five minutes. In five minutes, we will return. Le invitó, teacher. I'm sorry, Arnoldo. Le invitó a los a los ah, break room. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you there, Maria Concepción? Teacher, hasta ahorita le voy entendiendo porque me dejó pausada. O sea, ya no le entendí nada de lo que ya estaba explicando ni nada. Ah, hasta... la que me sacaba y me volví a regresar a la reunión. Ah, y ahorita cómo está el internet? Ya le respondió más. O sea, ahorita ya le puedo escuchar a usted y todo. Pero eso. no me oía nada. No, realmente no. <risa> Ah, ok. Yo vi los mensajes, pero pensé que eran de Zaira. Ah, también. No. Yo le escribí antes de Zaira y después le escribió Zaira que ya no pudo entrar. Ah, ok. Yes, ya vi. Hace como ocho minutos lo puso. Y le llegó el invite, María Concepción. Sí, pero ya no me pareció. Ah, ok. Si quiere, quédese acá. Entonces no vaya a ser que pierda la conexión en lo que se va. Sus classmates van a volver en un ratito. Tiene su libro para que pueda ver la conversation. Lo tengo en la compu y ¿qué es lo que hay que hacer? You have to read the conversation and then answer the questions. When does Jenny's shift start? What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? And what does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? Those questions. Okay. Esas son las que tendría que contestar basado en esto. Basado en la conversación. Uh -huh. In two Bye. minutes they will return. Van a regresar como en dos minutos. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh.
Hello, welcome back. Could you finish? Was it enough? Si tuvieron suficiente tiempo. Yes, no sé si. Okay, let's yes. check. Okay, I'm glad. Question number one. Vamos a ir con long answers para practicar la grammar. Long answers. Mayra and Elena. When does Jenny's shift start? What is the answer for you? When? Jenny start at 9 a.m. At 9 a.m., uh -huh. So we can say thank you, correct. Jenny's shift starts with S because it's a singular now. Starts at 9 a.m. That's the answer. Thank you. Wendy and Oscar, what is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A waiter. A waiter. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. And Arnoldo and Lily, do you have the same opinion? A waiter. Maybe Jenny is uh, works as waitress. A waitress. Uh -huh. But in this moment, the to from nine uh, to eleven am, mm -hmm. she work as hostess. As a hostess. Okay. Thank you, Arnoldo. Let's check Anna and Juan Carlos. What is uh, Jenny's, Jenny's job? job? Uh -huh. Is a hostess. A hostess. Okay. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Jenny, Galileo, and Carlos, what is your opinion? I think uh -huh. Jenny's job in the restaurant is servers. A server. Okay, yes. thank you. Then Laura and Rodrigo. Uh, Jenny's. Ah, okay. Laura, Laura, Laura. Laura, let's go. Okay, Laura, what do you think? <laughs> Jenny's, Joe, Jenny's Joe in the restaurant at server and cover hostel today. Uh -huh. Thank you, Laura and Rodrigo. Okay, so she is, she is a, a server. That is the occupation. Huh? And she will cover, she will cover, right? As a hostess. Thank you. And number three. Okay, let's begin with Maria Concepcion. Do you have it? Could you answer that one, Maria Concepcion? Or you couldn't? No sé si logró contestar esa, Maria Concepcion. No. Okay, let's begin in that case with, okay, um, Jenny or Galileo. What does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? What is your answer? Jenny can serve. Can serve, serve food. Okay, thank yeah. you. Ana and Juan Carlos, what does she have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? Jenny is for serve the rest of the lunch. Serve, serve, okay, thank you. Wendy and Oscar, do you have the same opinion? Mayra and Elena, or different? Is the same a server. A server, okay, correct. And I'm going to put it here. She needs service. Uh-huh, tell me. From 1 to p.m. A serve. 
Correct. A server? Yes. Uh -huh. So she needs to serve for customers. Thank you. Doubts or comments? No? Okay. Let's continue. I'm going to send a link by chat. Okay. Les voy a enviar ahí un link para que vean un, un segment of a video. Just four minutes, porque ese video dura 16 minutes. Solo vamos a ver four minutes. And you can replay it. O si no, solo ven los primeros three minutes. Okay, los primeros three minutes y luego le dan replay y lo vuelven a ver. Los primeros tres minutos. Okay, tres minutos, four. Okay, I Teacher, want you... Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry, en duda en la... En la tres, porque primero dice que ella es hosting y de la una en delante es server. Por eso le habíamos puesto nosotros hosting con Juan Carlos. Ah, ok. But yes, es que ahí estaba cubriendo a Gladys. En esa de posición. una C. Ajá. Ajá. Ah, en, en tu. Como que esa no fuera su ocupación. Two. Ajá. Ajá. Sino es que solo one. iba a cubrir no. o sustituir. Por eso lo, okay. lo tenemos así. You have to be back at one so that you can serve for the rest. Ajá. Por eso, okay. por esa razón. Pero si no, si le podríamos poner así que es hostess y server. No problem. Tiene esa occupation in the morning. Okay. okay so, you. guys, in that video, you're going to find more vocabulary about restaurants. Please take notes. Okay. La idea es que traten de captar más vocabulario sobre restaurants. Van a ver unos términos como fine dining, okay, and fast restaurants. Van a ver términos y la idea es que luego tratemos de ver qué tanto comprendimos. Watch the video two times. Y luego me escriben ahí finish. Tratemos de empezar al mismo tiempo. Are Cada you ready? Está bajando, teacher. ¿Mm? Cada vez lo está bajando. Ya <risa> El... no va a decir once. No, ok, two times, two times, y luego si ustedes quieren lo pueden ver more times at home y los 16 minutes. Si tuviéramos más tiempo, lo hiciéramos más. Ok, ready en sus marcas. Teacher, two times yes. for three minutes. Ajá, yes, two times, three minutes. Ready, como que es una competition. Set, go. <laughs> Teacher in WhatsApp, por Thank you. Thank you.
Vamos para o início. Ready? Okay. Okay, questions for you. Questions for you. We start with Laura. What is fine dining, Laura? Ideas? Food. Expensive. Expensive food. Okay, thank you, Laura. And you, Jenny? What is fine dining? Fine dining. Uh, in fine dining, need a reservation. It's formal place. Excellent. Uh -huh. Correct, guys. So if you have that opinion, it's correct. Very expensive food. Very expensive food. You need a reservation for book a table. And the, the outfit, you wear elegant clothes, right? Elegant clothes. They so look that is like uh, penguins. They penguin look like suit. penguins. Uh -huh, you use penguins. Do you like them? Arnoldo, Galileo, do you like that formal clothes? I like you dress as penguin suit. You sometimes. do? Uh -huh. Sometimes it's perfect. And you, Galileo, the same? No. no I I never uh, wear uh, clothes like a penguin. Very never. Formal. Just in weddings or in very important occasions. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, and guys, can you tell me some restaurants in El Salvador that you consider that they are in this, in this category, fine dining in El Salvador? Which restaurants? can apply or can be in this category for you. Very expensive food, you need, a, you need a reservation, people wear elegant clothes. Olive Garden, thank you. Anna, did you have a comment? Yes, Tahamar Patisha. I don't know that restaurant, but okay, that could be one. Thank you, Ana. Okay, let's continue with. Ah, yeah, uh huh, that's true. Thank you. Then let's continue with casual dining. Carlos, ideas? Carlos and Juan Carlos, casual dining, what is it? Is um, very expensive food, but uh, no didn't the reservation. You don't need reservation, but it's very expensive. Okay, Carlos, thank you. And for you, Juan Carlos, casual dining. Uh, I wear in casual clothes. You wear casual clothes. Uh, eat my dinner with uh, cutlery with cutlery, okay, thank you. So it's like middle, right? It's in the middle. It's not like very fine. Fine, it's like expensive, but it's not like very low. It's like middle class. Which restaurants, Galileo, do you have a comment? Yeah, it is, the casual dining is, is not expensive, not cheap. Mm -hmm. It's like in the middle, right? That is yeah. what most people go to, casual yeah. dining. Restaurants in El Salvador, casual dining. Lomo y la aguja, la pampa. Lomo y la aguja. Maybe Clau y Canela, maybe Tony, Tony Romas. What about Buffalo Wings? Is it casual dining? Buffalo? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Maybe. Fast food, maybe fast, fast food. food. 
Yes. Okay, thank you. So fast food, we all know with that one, right? Hamburgers, pizza, buffalo wings, uh, fries, fast food, we are okay. Arnoldo, do you have a comment? No. No, no comments. Okay. Question la number two. Donde entran, teach. Uh, fast food, I will say in El Salvador. <laughs> fast food, <laughs> too. Yes. A veces hay lugares que, bueno, no sé ya, si hay por una cora por 25 centavos, así que it's, it's like fast food. And you can eat a lot, right? Yes, sí, el montón. So it could be fast food. In, in some places are very expensive, the bungalow. Ah, it's true. Ajá, y también está el otro lado de la moneda. Ajá, Carlos. Y hay que esperar mucho. It's, it's, it's very expensive uh -huh. in La Pupusa Loca. Pupusalo. Volcano Plaza. Ajá, ok. Entonces están los dos extremos. Depende del lugar que vayan. Puede ser fine dining, fine dining or fast food. Both options. Ok, next question. How can we ask for food in a polite way? No sé si lograron ver que había una manera polite or educada de pedir comida. May I? Ajá. May I? Or... Can I have? That is the other option. Para pedir algo, ¿verdad? En el menu, si lo queremos pedir así educadamente, podemos comenzar así. May I have? Y luego dicen. Um, the menu. Please. Okay. Y esto ya sería polite. May I have the menu? Or can I? Y luego el verbo. Can I have my drink? Y le agregamos el please, ¿verdad? Para que suene aún más, más polite. Y okay, aquí podemos, go para pedir cosas. To the waiter or waitress. Y no sé si lograron ver otra opción para cuando decimos party off, ¿verdad? Creo que esto todavía se recuerdan. Party off. Or. Or table off. Table of. Table uh -huh. four. Correct. Let me just double check my term. Table four. Yes. Thank you, Jenny. A table four, and then you mention the number for two people. A table for two, a table for three, etc. Now, do you have questions? Do you have questions party about. Party of. What does it mean, teacher? A party group. Of. A group of. That is what it means, Juan Carlos. Un grupo. A group of, y luego ya el, el number. Así que casi que lo mismo. Porque table es que pide la mesa, pero en, en party of menciona el número, pero siempre es el mismo resultado. Group of, luego two. Aunque no sería grupo, ¿verdad? Pero así se diría. A group of, y en then you mention the number. Okay, questions about the video? It's very interesting. If you want to finish looking at it, finish. Si lo quieren terminar de ver, tratenlo de verlo. Está interesante. Y hay más terms that could help you about restaurants. So questions or comments? No? Okay. Tomorrow we're going to study superlatives. Mañana vamos a estudiar los, los casi hermanos de los comparatives. So try to come, traten de venir temprano porque vamos a estar practicando eso y, y más cosas de restaurants, okay? Um, I'm going to take the attendance and then I'm going to stay with Rodrigo. Okay, let's begin. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Thank you, Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Elizabeth Martinez. Jose Arnoldo. I'm here. Thank you. Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Okay. Jose Jonathan. Present, miss. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo. Present. Juan Carlos. Present. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. María Concepción. María Present. Elena. Thank you. I'm here, teacher. Mayra Moreno. Present, teacher. Nelson Gabarrete. 
Omar Francisco, Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Thank you. Zaira Marleni, Wendy Maribel. Present. Okay, and Jenny Santos. Present teacher. Okay, everyone, good to see you. See you tomorrow again. Sweet dreams to all of you. Bye bye. Good night. Take bye care. Bye. See, tomorrow. You tomorrow. Bless you. see you guys. Good dream, Thank you. You too, Galileo. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, Carlos. Bye, Elena. See you, Lili. Maria Concepcion. <laughs> One moment, Rodrigo. Okay. okay. How are you doing today? Fine. You're fine. Yeah, fine. How is your English going? How do you feel? Uh, better. <laughs> <laughs> better. Okay, good comparative. Tomorrow we are going to study superlatives. So it's going yes, okay. to be interesting. Okay. And how is Tomorrow. your health? Su salud, ¿qué tal? How is your health? Bien, 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 bien. It's good. So okay, it's I'm good. happy to hear that. Yeah. So how could I help you, Rodrigo? Do you want to practice pronunciation or reinforce yes. topics of the classes? Uh, practice, practice the lectura que ya luego que hicimos rápida, donde está Marta, Michael. Ah, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have another one. Tengo otra también, pero si quiere podemos ver eso. Y si nos queda tiempo, vemos la, la otra que tengo. Okay. okay. Give me one Estuve en esa porque también hubo con tiempo de, de ver la, la lectura un poquito más rápido, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo? Que fue con, con un poquito más veloz la lectura, la que ah, hizo la, 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 la dinámica. Sí, yes, hicimos la dinámica de la rapidez. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. Correct. Ok, I have it now. I'm going to share the screen and zoom in. Okay, do you want to start or do you want me to go first? What do you prefer? Quisiera que lo hiciéramos así con lo de velocidad. Sí, sí, así me gustaría. Okay, y quiere que, el, que lo lea yo primero o quiere darle usted de una vez? No, please, usted primero. Okay, lo voy a leer a un tono que es not Moderado. that slow, uh -huh. in a moderate, yes, pace. Okay, so it says, my family and I moved to the United States last month and our friends tell us that we should leave a tip when we eat at a restaurant. How much money should we leave for the waiter or waitress after we finish our meal? Should we leave a tip in all kinds of restaurants, even fast food restaurants? And if we don't like the service, is it really necessary to leave a tip? Number two, I'm going to read all of them, Rodrigo. Number two, my friends and I want to open our own restaurant. My friend Chris is going to be the waiter then is going to be the cashier and I'm going to be the chef. We want to open the restaurant close to the college where we study. Our classmates say they are always hungry. Can you give us any advice about the kind of atmosphere the restaurant should have and the kind of food we should have on the menu? And do you think opening a restaurant is a good idea? Number three, I live right next to a restaurant and I'm one of their best customers. I usually eat dinner there three or four times a week. I enjoy eating there, but I think I spend too much money and I think some of the food I order, like pizza or hamburgers and hamburgers, isn't very healthy. On the other hand, I'm too tired to cook after I come home from work. What advice can you give me? Okay, now it's your turn, Rodrigo. We start with Emma's okay. part. Emma. 
my family and I moved to the United States last month and our friend tell us that we should live at this when we ate at a restaurant. How much money should we leave for the waiter or waiters after we finish our meal? Should we leave a tip at uh, a uh, kind of restaurant, even fast food restaurant? And if we don't like the service, is it really necessary to leave a tip? Yes, very good pronunciation and fluency, Rodrigo. I liked it. It sounded well. Let's go with paragraph number two. Michael. Michael, Deranita. My friend, my friend, I want to open all one. Or own, own restaurant. Mm -hmm. Or own restaurant. My friend Chris is going to be the waiter. Then it's going to be the cash to be the cashier. And I'm going to be the chief. Chef. We want to open the restaurant close to the college where we study. Our classmates say they are always hungry. Can you give us any advice about the kind of atmosphere? Atmosphere. The restaurant should have, should have, and the kind of food we should have on the mini menu. And do you think opening a restaurant is good idea? Thank you, Rodrigo. Okay, I'm going to help you with some words. Number one, cashier. Cashier, cashier. Mm -hmm. To be cashier. Cashier, yes. Cashier. Always hungry. Always hungry. Hungry. Are always hungry. Uh -huh. Hungry. It sounds like Jake. Suena como J cuando lo dice. Hungry. Mm -hmm. Always hungry. Yes. Idea. Idea. Let's do Idea. it again. Yes. But the same, the same paragraph, oh, Rodrigo. One more time. Oh, okay. Michael. Uh -huh. Michael. Mm -hmm. okay. Michael. My friend, I want to open our own restaurant. My friend Chris is going to be the waiter. Then he's going to be cashier. And I'm going to be the chef. We want to open the restaurant close to the college where we study. Our classmates say there are always hungry. Can you guys use any advice about the king atmosphere the restaurant should have and the kind of food we should have on the menu? And did you think opening a restaurant a good idea? Thank you, Rodrigo. Idea. Idea, that is idea. idea. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you have idea. To, you have to a remember good that. Idea. Idea. I, correct. <laughs> idea. Okay. Okay. Now let's do it with this one. Ready? Okay. Yes. Teronita. Oh. I live right next to a restaurant and aim on one of their best customer. I usually a diner there three or four times a week. And enjoy eating there, but I think I spend too much which money. I I think some of the food I order, like pizza and hamburgers, isn't very healthy. Or the order ham a too tired to cook after I come home from work. What I buy can you give me? Mm -hmm. Yes, that one sounded very well, Rodrigo. Uh -huh. Good pronunciation. Okay. Solo en este que le mencioné. I, y idea, okay. que esa vamos idea, a, a revisar la idea. mañana. Idea. Que yes. no se le olvide. Idea. <laughs> idea. But it happens. A mí hay palabras que no sé por qué. I don't know why. Siempre las confundo. Siempre dudo. Las, mm -hmm. las memorizo, ¿verdad? Pero luego siempre <laughs> dudo como era así o no era así. Uh -huh. Así y que la, creo. Es uh -huh. high un atmosphere. Atmosphere. At atmosphere, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Atmosphere. Okay. Uh -huh. I, idea. Idea <laughs> and atmosphere. But yes, idea. it happens. 
it happens. Y van a haber palabras también que la, la escritura, the spelling, se le van a olvidar también, aunque lo repase y mm. sepa que se le olvida, yeah. pero siempre se le va a olvidar. Son cosas que a todos nos pasan. No porque a veces, ajá, hay palabritas así que, que a saber qué pasa en el cerebro que no quieren quedarse ahí. <risa> Pero, idea, your, your idea, yes. A Mañana le pregunto de nuevo para ver si todavía se recuerda. Y así okay. vamos a tratar Ajá, que sea idea. Ok, Ajá. thank you. You're welcome. Do you have okay. questions before we leave? No sé si hay algún no, comentario, nothing. Rodrigo. Are you okay? I'm real. I'm real. Ok, cualquier cosa me avisa. Hoy ahí tratamos de, de ayudarle o tomar en cuenta su comentario. Okay, thank you. Okay, Rodrigo, we're going to stop here in that case. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.